we'll have to see exactly how things are going to shape up. But of course, these pistol rounds are going to be important for both teams. And as you can see, we hot now. We will be going all around to B side, but it seems like Lumini have done their homework a little bit. So we've got a four man stack on that B site. Ardis now trying to delay him as much as possible. Does get taken up by Boast in the end, but Hype does get the trade. Boast gets a second. Fleef, of course, managed to keep up hiding in, but Adam managed to get one of his own. So at the moment, we hot with a man up. Yeah, into a good position. The retake going to be coming out. You've got Adam and Mace to try to clear this up. Going to be pairing it towards the site right now. No real utility to aid them. They do have a kit and a smoke, though. There's the first contact, but Boaster and Connor come together. Take down Mace. Adam just has to retreat as well. He doesn't have armor. He could try and get another frag here, see if he can achieve too much, but... It's basically over. Does go back in. Finds that first headshot, though, on Boaster. He's able to get the connection off. A little bit more to be done. I mean, <laughs> he just tries to go for it, <laughs> smokes the bomb. In terms of the rosters, though, now as well, as we have the, the full picture, I've just remembered. It's actually a different hype. It's not hype, it's back at all. This is negative hype, which is type with a little dash before its name. So this is the problem with everyone having similar names. Because obviously hype. there is a complete... Hype. Yeah, there is another hype. But this is negative hype, which isn't hype is back hype, who's just called... <laughs> so hype is back, who is now hype, is a different hype to negative hype, who is just called negative hype. You Just also stuff in it. it. Yeah, you know, yeah. It, it's a bit of a hard one to call. We didn't actually have the Wii Hot roster either, but you've got Dursiak, incredible Polish player, the Polish Punisher, obviously represents the Punisher there. Ross R <laughs> as well, Ross Rooney. Uh, he was the coach of XL for a very long time. Very smart player, played for many, many years. You know, he's, he's been there since the dawn of Counter-Strike. He knows what it's all about. Fleave as well is another one we need to mention. A young gun, but outrageously talented. He was basically a super sub that came into Prophecy during Gfinity and just teared it up. Really young player, but incredibly effective. Did you say this was Fleave? Fleave. About? Yeah, because Fleave, he's been playing really well these last couple of weeks. He's done a lot of damage to these teams. And to complement that as well, Connor's been playing very well himself. And you're talking about Derziak as well. He's, um, from what I've noticed, a very aggressive player. He always wants to try and open out the sights, try and do what he can to not, not just get those entry frags, but to try and get some of his openers here and there. And he's definitely one of those players you don't want to deal with in those kind of circumstances. So you've got a lot of players in this wee hot team just to cause a lot of trouble for this Luminary squad. Yeah, uh, for Dersiak, he actually played with Shaney and co. And they were beaten out by Sprout as they tried to get into the closed minor qualifiers. So they've actually done quite well, you know. He is a player that's definitely achieved a lot. So Adam tried to make it electrifying, went for the Taze on Connor. <laughs> Mr. Hoy has actually <laughs> made it electrifying as this round gets a whole lot more exciting. The taser comes through. Supposed to have the team kill, but we'll forget about that. Into the 3v3. It's all about the pistols now for Luminaries. They're going to be sprinting their way in. Dersiak comes in from the left-hand side. Ross hits him from the front. Just tears his way through him with that MP7. Dersiak for the final blow on Mace, and they do close it out. Three rounds picked up off the back of the opening pistol, but Luminary, nearly two taser kills. So pat on the back for that. Yeah, because you were trying to get a taser joke in, what, in the first match? You finally got it now. Yeah, I know. Now's your, but now's your time there's in the no fish. That, yeah, that is true. It's, um, yeah, it's a shame it didn't happen earlier. The fish have gone. Yeah, that's it. They're, they're done now. They didn't have a great time earlier against Endpoint, but still high up in the group nonetheless. So, again, we hot. Very aggressive play so far. I will get damage from the HE, but... Good flashing away, gets a 2k of his own. Dozyak talked about his aggressive, sorry, his aggressive style, how he pushes onto the site, manages to manages to actually get that get that trade. Boast is still waiting. Connor is trying to see if it will be a peek on CT. He's waiting patiently he's to see if one of the members of Lumi does peek out. You have C2 on CT now. Sadly misses that shot, but now. He's got the info that he needs. We're going to find out exactly what Connor can do here. Three players that remain now on the side of Wee Hot. Dersiak post up. And Connor. They have lost one man as well. So there is going to be a reconnect after this round. Connor. Peering through, trying to go for the pixel sniff. Seeing if he can find anyone through that tight little angle. Boaster comes around back on short. 
Needs to try backstab, really. Got about 30 seconds here. He can go for the window jump over, go for the backstab, attempt to destabilize him. Does get that kill, but they've already lost Connor. Makes it so much harder, but Dursiak can go huge into these rounds, and Boaster is really putting in work. Finds two frags already. You've got Dursiak in the elevated angle, gets the connection, the headshot on Ardis. Mr. Hoyt trying to save the day, which he will. As she comes down like a ton of bricks on both of them, finishes them off. It's a huge clutch round there from Mr. Hoy. Grabs that orb, can pass that back over. Ardis going to take it as well. So first round in terms of the buy round is going to go to Luminary. Yeah, Derziak did a fantastic job getting onto the site. Sadly didn't close things out. I think they were hoping that with their discipline and patience on that A site to try and throw Lumini off guard a little bit, but sadly it wasn't to be. Lumini does take that round. Flea will go down under pass to see if he can find out exactly what's going in connector. Gets mollied off, but does yet now. We'll be watching jungle and the stairs to see if we can get an opening pick. But Adam. That's flashing off anyway. Fantastic flash just to get across. But Fleave. Trying to see what he can do, but Dersiak does clean up. It seems like now we hot do have that mid control and we'll be deciding exactly which site they're going to try and punish. Mace has been sprayed down and taken out. Goes down to Boaster, tries to get the follow-up frag as well as a little bit of a tag comes through. Connor with the deagle. Quick reaction. Double deeks down. Lays out another man. It's just the two versus four. They're majorly outnumbered. They're nowhere near the site. They can get that bomb down now. Big man Ross Rooney can plant the bomb. The rest of them do have to go for the save, really, here. Ardis doesn't want to throw that AWP away. He has armor. A little bit of utility as well. You've got the smoke, the, HG, uh, the flash, and the HG. Hoy as well, and Mr. Hoy. Flash, M4 armor. It's no point. Just save it. Get through to the next round. That is going to be 1 4 on the scoreline there as we'll go through to round number six. As you can see, Boaster is trying to. Well, if we get an exit frag, doesn't look that way at the moment, but it will pop up just to wait patiently to see if anyone does come across. Oh, this the Orper does eventually get picked off, but not too sure if Boaster will get another one. Will he actually see? He does, but Boaster again. Fantastic play getting those exit frags. 11 and 3 now. Both had a fantastic pistol round, almost with the 4k. And it seems like now, he's literally continuing on from the start. Smoke's going to go down there from Adam early. Stops the ramp push from coming out. As he's just going to play on the close off angle as well with that CZ. They should clear it, but if they don't, it can be a nice little early kill. Boosted up in the close position, Boaster. Going to launch that molly in towards Underdark. But it won't really do too much. Adam still undetected. Had no real idea of his location. So when they go for the push, Fleet needs to be fast about. It does get the spray back onto him, though. But loses an awful lot of HP. Wee Hot tempted now. They're fancying the hit on the A site off the back of that first kill. Mace is on the CT side at the moment. Will be joined by Hype. Boast is just having none of it. He's just going to go straight in, but sadly for him, does get taken out. Mace gets two of his own. Does have the bomb. But he has a lot of work coming out here. He managed to get a third on Derziak. And as you can see, Jackie, two members of Wee Hot haven't got much HP to play with, so could be a potential ace, but Fleave comes around the back anyway. Mace eventually does take out a fourth. But Fleef came in just in the nick of time to close that round out. Yeah, hit him with the martyrdom there. <laughs> That's what you need to see. Does find the frag, but it is too late, as you said. And now Luminary. What are they going to reinvest into? Probably just the P250 squad. We do have Mr. Hoyt going for the taser. Classic. See if he can try and uh, go for a bit of a vintage play. Wasn't he the one who had a taser earlier? Or was yeah. that someone else? Yeah. Just Mr. Hoyt and... Someone, someone else went for a taser as well, but they do love them. Fish commits was the B site. So actually, if they just go in right now as well, there is no one there, no defense. They're going to get a free round out of this. They can plant the bomb, 
Try and push a little bit. Fleev actually just going to go in. Hungry to look for the frags here. Getting dinked from all angles. Hype will kill him. He can recover that AK for free as well. Going to grab it by the barrel and just push straight back. I can just hold for exits now at this point. Weehawk can't really fight it. That's right. Lumini are going to try and at least try and get some extra guns of their own. Try and get some economic damage done. Oh, this does manage to take on the end. Both of get one of his own. We'll see Adam that's going to pick on him as well, but Hype finally gets a trade off and now. Pretty standard. They will try and pull back for him before Connor does get another one of his own. But a little bit of damage, but shouldn't affect We Hot too much. For Wee Hot, they can still reinvest. They've still got a bit of cash. It's slightly weaker than it was, but they are going to be fine to rebuy up around that. Connor can drop the AK over if he wants to. Actually, they've already got the AK dropped there, so they're fine. Connor still has 6.4K. If they actually get another round, they're going to rebuild from that anyway. They'll be pretty comfortable. Is it going to be the A play, though? Ooh, heavy stack from the CTs there towards mid. Luminary trying to go for the fast play. Flashbang will daze them. They push straight up. Ross gets the first kill. It is a trade, but Ross has the info from that, and the A site is already completely wee hot territory. They've shut it down. Ardis, though, bounces back round. The scout superstar needs to start showing what <laughs> skills he has. Most of finds. Oh, finds two on CT, but sad of him, Mace. Does manage to take him out, but the question is, can he actually get that retake on time? Connor now will be sitting on ramp to see if he can close out. Does he get taken out? Connor must get one of his own, but now will he actually realize he has to push in? Sadly misses and does get out the fuse. So Lumini, that was an extremely crucial round for them to expect a comeback. But at least Connor, even though he doesn't win that round, manages to save the AWP. A little bit of bank, you could say. But Boaster now still going off about 14 and 6. With the rest of Lumini now. Roughly the same. Not No one's standing out too much. Doing as well as each other. But Ardis now will push straight up. He's not sturdy yet, but lucky for him. Mace does seem past the smoke, but Ardis will continue to... Waiting a smoke to see if he does get one. He does get another. Nice to get second for himself. Another AK. That was a crucial, crucial round for him, especially going through that smoke. And of course, Mace giving him that backup. So again, Illuminate, well played by that round. Yeah, Luminary actually starting to get a bit of momentum back under their feet. Obviously, for Wee Hot as well, that was the last the cash pumped into it. So the reset round does come back through. Are oh, they going to go for the P250 Puma squad? Yeah, I've got three out, two of them. Just going to be sticking to the Glocks. Actually, Flea going to be upgrading for a Deagle as well. Luminary, though, they have tons more to play with in terms of firepower. These AKs, they could pack a punch. They've got the range to play with as well towards mid. Ardis just waiting for the aggression to come his way. Right now, though, they keep it staggered. They keep it slow because they just hold back. Nades are going to be chucked out. Connor with the first face. Everyone else follows suit. But they're just in front of a shooting range right now. They're all getting put down. They lay to rest as they all go down. Only Ardis falls, that's not too bad. Pretty clean round there for Luminary. Two rounds away from equalizing the scoreline as well, but there is the reinvestment for Weehart. That's right, Luminary slowly crawling back, slowly but surely. I think Weehart were up 6-1 at one point, but now Luminary is slowly tracing back. Both these teams know, of course, Coming to week three, these wins are absolutely crucial. Adam, with that first pick on Derziak and Mace, those fleeves there, sadly doesn't take him down. So it does take him down. But Lumi now. These changes they've made, they managed to adapt to Wee Hot quite well now. And it seems like, not saying they can't be stopped, but. Doing a cracking job making sure we hot can't get anywhere near close to the site the last couple of rounds. Yeah, for we hot as well, it's just gonna be the CZ on Fleave, two Deagles, one P250 and a CZ for Boaster. They got double flash. Triple flash now. 
Ross as well going to go for the investment towards armor there. Probably a little bit more cash than the rest. They can try and go for a play here together towards this B-site if they want to. Two are going to go out mid. Oh, Dursiak. He had the flash. Ardis was full white. That should have been a free frag with the Deagle, but he doesn't get the shot off initially. There is going to be one kill in the end. Hype goes down. So we got do actually have an advantage in this round, and Connor could backstab tremendously. And as you can see now, Connor does make it onto the site. Just trying to see if he can get any information from CT side. Ardis does pop up. We'll see Connor does take him out. Making sure we hot don't get that A site for free. Mace has a clean off flea. Does that does get taken down and at the moment. Not looking too bad for we hot so far. Seems like Ardis will take out Boaster eventually. But now we have got to try and decide exactly what they want to do. Lumini have no mid control so far. But Ardis taking a little peek around ramp to see if he can get any information. So they have a good enough information to see that there is no one on A. But Mace now will try and peek out to see. We'll finish him off and now it's all tied up 6 all. Yeah, we're about to get an out. Obviously, round 13. This first half is moving quite quickly, but it is very close. Both teams trading rounds, just being able to keep it neck and neck. You've got the Orpen Artist still. It's a big set piece. It's a weapon that he does need in his hands in terms of being able to just rip through the early defense. For Wee Hot as well. We're going to see a bit more coming out from Derziak potentially. Try and get a little bit more confidence behind them to play with that level of aggression we know these players can bring to the mark here, really as they set themselves up to try and go for a play on the A site. But Luminary with the counter play already, flash down, retake ramp control, get in and get amongst it. But there is only one of them remaining out of that squad that have gone out towards ramp. It's just Adam. Adam will get the trade back though, luckily. That is a trade on towards Ross. So Dursiak still alive. Played for the bait there as he goes for the push out, gets the tag off over towards Ardis, leaves him on 70 HP. It's quickly dipped down to 19 as the Inferno blazed around him and the tags were coming through, but he's still flicking like a madman. Tags that hill back on towards Flea. If Derziak will finally do him in and leave him lifeless on the ground, but it's all up to Mace to try to save this situation. That's right, Mace has made a huge impact. He's not even just his last few hours, the entire game, and he wants to continue that. Connor really trying to find a way to delay Mace as much as possible, but he will see him in connect and manages to clean up Mace finally. And Connor, crucial, crucial round for them, considering their economic status at the time. But Mace has been on the right tear so far, 17 to 7. With Ardis following short, 14 and 10. But if you look on the other side, Boaster, a few more deaths on the board, but still going 14 and 11. Again, like I mentioned before, both these teams know how crucial this win is. To try and make any attempt to Qualify for the final later on in August. Derziak gets a pick on Mace. Manages to get a good trade. But as you can see, a little bit of an aggressive play from Luminary. They've decided to pull back now. They've had a few aggressive rounds in the past, but they're going to change their, change their style a little bit. Connor now. He knows that bomb's in mid. He's going to see if he can find out what he can. Derziak is playing quite patiently. He's trying to see if anyone does push up short. But Adam is peeking from connector just to see if he can find any information from where that bomb is. Most of sadly just misses his shot. Doesn't get too much damage on Ardis, not too bad, but Ardis managed to clean Boaster straight away then, as you can see now. Seems like Weehawk will make an, a, make an attempt to try and execute that A-site. All right, waiting for the push to come towards him right now. Molotov is going to be chucked out, set the whole place ablaze. So Ross, time is going to tick away. They've only got 20 seconds left as well, so they need to be quite rapid about it. Can't dilly-dally too much as they are going to push in. Hype. 
lying in wait, ready to give it, but instead it's just kind of just blown the pieces. Two massive impact frags there. Bomb's going to go down in the nick of time. Seven seconds left on the clock. He still gets it done. Dursiak as well, playing on the close angle, waiting to try and fight the battles for him. Goes for the first peak, miss the Hoyle clutch it, but it comes down to Ross to finish him off. And that is going to be another round now for Wee Hot, giving them eighth on the board. Yeah, it's the last round of the half here. Is it going to be a 9-6 with Wee Hot dominating on that T side or Luminary keeping it close and taking a 7-8? Yeah, Luminary have done a fantastic job tying things up 6 all, but it seems like now Wee Hot are just on the part of things there. Most to find a fair few openings. Connor is waiting for Ardis to peek. Does manage to see him, but sadly doesn't take him out. And now we hot are just trying to put some pressure onto that B sorry on that B site. So on the uh the control at the moment, Dersiak. Sadly for him. Doesn't take Mace out, but manages to survive anyway. But sadly but surely it seems like we hot now. Taking a bit of time, but managed to get that mid control. Ooh, Adam of the kill though over on Dersiak does finish him off with the M4. We hot with only four T's remaining as well. Booster tries to go for the stealthy play, wanted to sneak up short and go in for the backstab, but he was detected. Ardis eliminates him. There's only five men that remain on the side of Luminary. But that is a full house versus the two players that remain for We Hot. As they lose Ross, they lose Fleave as well. So it is just Connor. And Connor is in a bit of an awkward one. He's trying to find the headshot. Does take down Mr. Hoy with his re -peak as well, but he's taking so much damage from all angles. There's nothing he can really do. That is going to be the end of the half. It's an 8-7 in favor of Wee Hot. Yeah, Wee Hot did a fantastic job at the start of that, going up 6-1. to one. But Luminary managed to crawl back in the end and at least managed to get that seven rounds on the board, which is extremely important. But we'll have to see now, not just in his second half pistol side, but see how Lum uh, sorry, Luminary's T side goes. And we saw from there that there was times we hot did struggle a little bit, but panned out okay in the end. But it's like I mentioned before, these two teams, they know how much this, how important this win is. So I should take him through to one of those qualifying spots. Yeah, it's a very important win. You need to try and get something going for either of the two sides here. And uh, you can see they're putting a lot into it. I mean, a couple of huge rounds that have been coming out from key players on the side of Wee Hot as well, giving them that little upper edge as they go through now. They're moving over onto that CT side. Are they going to feel confident there? What have they got prepared for it? More so for Luminary as well. Where's the aggression going to be coming for it? T side, you've got players like Ardis. They can try and play very confidently, try and just go for the aggression. Is this going to be the same style we saw here from the first half, or could things be a bit different because of the change in roles, Harry? And that's what we're going to find out. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult one. I can understand with Wee Hot, they have a couple of players there who Love to get on the site no matter what kind of situation when you saw Dersiak did that quite a lot. Connor, of course, got free access to the A site quite a few times, but we're going to have to see now exactly how good Luminary's T side is. But it seems like they will be attempting to execute this A site. Boaster will be waiting for them. I think we'll realise now that there was three members of Wee Hot on B side. They are slowly making up rotation. Connor's going to try and delay as much as he can until. That rotation happens. Both it is on CT waiting for them, but Connor's trying to do all that he can, but does get taken out, but Bosa gets another one of his own. Will fade out the fuse, gets one in jungle. And it things like things have absolutely not changed at all. Bosa almost with a 4K in that last half in the pistol round, but he saw there. Bosa again. Yeah. He's got a pistol on him, mate. That's the, uh, that's the mean ace from Boaster. All five frags found by him, just shuts it down individually. Very rapid round, quite quick. Uh, just blitz their way through it, and that's a huge lead as well now. 9-7, you've got set up well. The only thing is the T's did get the bomb down, so they're going to get that additional cash, but still, it should be another round. You're looking at a 10-7 before there's a potential power struggle, but big investment into the, uh, the auto shot you there. Two XM10s coming out. That's right, Boaster. What did he have? Probably about eight kills total from those two pistol rounds. So, yeah, yeah, fair play to him. No, he's a right of a pistol, isn't he? He doesn't, doesn't muck about. Does Yak? 
fantastic corner here just to finish off. Gets managed to get two. Corner of one and of course the assist. Cleve just goes in, you know, just as he does with the XM and Ardis takes out post and Connor. Tries to get third, but sadly, Derziak takes him down. That's pretty good from Ardis though, actually being able to backstab a little bit. Still finds two frags. It's better than nothing at all. So here's that rebuy that comes out. This is where the power struggle comes into effect. Is obviously they've got the bomb down. They can try and play around this now. For Wee Hot. You still got two Otoshais, you have one M4, one Famous, and a Scout on Connor. That is everything they're bringing to the table to try fight against this, and it seems like it is going to be a fast pace B hit. Ross has to try and defend with the Otoshai. Fleev actually got in from the rear, though. Could be cheeky. It could be, and Fleev, you know, I know the best of matches so far, but his flanking abilities have <laughs> are next to none so far. Derziak, nice pick on mid there. Managed to get the bomb down anyway. Gonna be quite a tough one, but he will try and molly out Mace, which he does. Mace does move out of the way. Still looking at short, waiting for Boaster to peek through. Sadly, he does miss out, but it takes out Fleave anyway. And Mace right now, considering the circumstances he was in, managed to take at least two of those guys out. And at one point, when he turned away from short B, I actually thought he was going to get picked and get ton in bonnet at time luck, but luckily Mace, he's on the ball of things and managed to keep Lumin uh, sorry, Luminary in this. So it's now We Hot winning 10 to 8. Yeah, this is a whole lot better actually as well for Luminary now. That was a big round to win. Mace did a ton of damage, very impactful. Completely turned it on his head. It's now in the running theme of using shotguns, Boast has carried on. He has got a Nova out. It's the Candy Apple Nova as well. <laughs> trying to look good whilst he does it, but unfortunately doesn't really do too much. Goes down. Ardis will execute with the AK. Dersiak trying to punish with a pistol if he can. Tries to land off the shot, but doesn't really work out that well for him. Fleave just flicking around like a nutter. <laughs> Probably needs to back off. Just go for the save there at this point, Harry. It should be a, a ninth round picked up for Luminary. They have the manpower advantage. They've got the sight. The bomb's down. Backstab from Mr. Hoy as well means no more Connor. And just like that, Connor's face completely gone. Fleave did try to play as aggressive as possible to try and get a couple more picks on that A site, but he knew that there wasn't really too much he could do. Might as well save York for another day and, of course, save what they can. So, Luminary, not a bad start so far on the T side. Fleave and a couple of good flanks. But as you can see from the stats now, Mace, nothing stopping this guy at the moment. 23 and 11. Helping out Luminate quite a lot to that extent. Keeping him in this so far. But the question is, how good is this T side of Luminate? We've seen a few good things from him so far. Some great executes. We'll just have to see if we Hot can actually adapt quick enough to sort them out. Yeah, what we can't really have up their sleeves. I mean, it's going to be a 10-10, though. There's no real way they should win this round with just the one AWP on Fleave and the M4 on Boaster, unless Fleave's just bounding around like a lunatic. <laughs> that would be the only real chance they have. As of right now, though, playing it very slow, very simple. Just waiting for that push to come in. It's all out aggression towards B. Ross gets first contact, does actually get the initial kill, but Mace will trade it back in a pretty quick fashion. But even then, it's going to be a hard retake. They have no kit at all. It's only really the AWP that can be the impact factor. That's right, but Derziak could get the bear of Ardis, but Ardis knows he's coming easy clean up for him. But it's like he said, not really too much of a chance that round. Connor's hoping to maybe get an exit frag on him, but Hype will be coming from behind. Will he take him out? No, he won't. So Hype, a nice easy kill for him. And we'll be leaving that site. So it seems like, yeah, another another potential close game coming up here. Luminary, of course, has not really been too many four by rounds as of yet. So have to see how they match up next round. Yeah, I mean, that's going to go 10-10 now. Uh, Luminary, they're on that T side. They're building up an economy. They're starting to get somewhat cash to play with. And for Wee Hot, they do now have a reinvestment round. They can go for a purchase. They can try and play around this. They've only actually got the one kit, though. That is just going to be on Connor. 
So it's a risk. If he dies, if they have to play for a retake, someone needs to recover that kit. He is going to be over towards mid, though. So at least it's a little bit easier if you scavenge it on the way. And once again, seems like it will be a fast play towards that site. Maybe playing off the contact. You've got one player going mid. It's going to be Ardis. Ardis trying to keep him on their toes. There's the push, though. Ross jumps up, caught out of position, loses his face, been blown to bits as Hoy will come straight through. Dursiak trying to keep him at bay, though, as he punishes the first man. Needs to try and do so much more, though, as Hype still continues it on. Shuts down Flea for the flick shot. There's blood all across the bomb site there from his noggin. Dursiak just backing off around the smoke. I mean, they've got side control. They've got the upper hand. They've got the advantage in terms of the manpower. They can just kind of chill on this one, Harry. They don't really have to do anything at this point. The ball's in the court of Wee Hot. It seems like there's nothing much they can do. <clears throat> Derziak will be falling back. Bosa will see if he can get any exits, but they need to sort this B-side out. Seems like they are struggling to keep Luminary at bay. They've got very good B-execute. But as you remember before, Luminary had some slow starts, but the last few rounds they've been very, very aggressive. And you would say felt like We Hot were a bit off guard, you could say, in a lot of those situations. So We Hot now needs to try and figure out exactly how things are going to pan out. But I'm not too sure if Luminary will do too much of this aggressive B play. But it seems like they will be switching to A this time just to see exactly what's going on. Two going Palace. And it's going to see exactly what's happening in the mid. Boaster. And let's see if he can try and get any information or any attention from Luminary Squad in Palace. I think we've got just Hype in there at the moment. Hype managed to take him out. Dursiak is trying to get two picks of it, which, sorry, which he does. Oh. He managed to get a third. And this is the this is the round they definitely need to change over. Man almost gets a fourth, but sadly for him, Adam finally trades out. But does he, though? Fantastic play with that deke. Yeah, the Polish powerhouse proving what damage you can do with the deagle. 50 cal of pain there. <laughs> he just puts three of them to rest. I mean, that was a huge round. If you can keep that up, God help them. But right now, Adam and Mace, the only two remaining players on that T side, going to slow. Slowly go for this tiptoe in, try and go for the plate. They do spot out Flea, but there's a panic there from Mace. Instantly went for the crouch. Didn't really react fast enough. Ross R as well, trying to delay from the sideline, see if he can peek out. Goes for the face with the CZ, does get the kill as well. Tremendous timing. He's like a grandfather clock, Harry. <laughs> That's right, and of course, those three digs by Derziak was fantastic play. Almost kept the side in it, and eventually they did in the end. So very, very important kills. I was talking about how, if we hold, what can they do to actually Try and keep him in this, but of course, Luminary haven't got the best of A sides, but we did got Dirty up with a dig like that. Wasn't too much you can do, and of course, one of the players of WeHop managed to clean up with that best, well, really good time with that C CZ. But now, it seems like Luminary are going back to old ways, trying to execute that B site, which they've successfully done in the past, but WeHop do have the numbers. We'll get the bomb down. But it seems like now they will be trying to go for that retake. Dirty does get taken down. Ardis gets two of his own. Connor gets to take out Ardis, but it seems like it's going to be Connor versus Adam. See what he can do, but Adam's just been a right pain in the mode. Just trying to delay things as much as possible to stop Connor from having any chance of like defusing. Connor manages to take him out in the end. So it seems like now we Hot doing a much better job with this retakes. That's a huge round there from Connor. Really, two massive frags. Big clutch towards the end. Gets the defuse to boot. That is going to be a 12th round now picked up. And it's still incredibly neck and neck. But they're making it work for themselves. There is cash on Luminary. They can reinvest. They can still just try and burn their way through. Instant buyback and try and fight against it. But for Weehop, save the AWP. Connor still has that in his inventory. They've got the reinvestment coming into it as well with the M4s. They're going to be pretty happy in terms of what they actually have to try and fight this battle with. But it's important rounds now. If they win this next round against Luminary, that's 13. Their economy is going to be pretty broken. You can then try and get yourself to 14 rounds. At that point, you're one away from overtime safety net. You're one away from match point, closing it down, shutting out today's games. And that's where they want to be. They need to just try and build off this now. 
Yeah, I was talking about Fleef before where he's had some really good games. It's not, not having a really good game here, which is mm. quite surprising. He's getting caught off guard quite a few times, sadly for him. Obviously, you, you know, you like to have a bad game in there, aren't you? Of course, Fleef yeah. eventually he does. But as you can see, Mace and Ardis are absolutely tearing it up on that Luminary side. But it seems like now we have found a few answers to Luminary's T executes. Managed to finally stop them actually pushing through B and actually taking that round in yet. They've had a few issues these last few rounds, but it seems now they are going to ready up. But it's like he said, if we hot do win this round, Luminary are going to be in some serious trouble. Yeah, Luminary are really going to be worse for wear if we hot are able to keep on building off of this. I mean, they've already got quite a good scoreline here. Connor going to keep the AWP as well. This is fairly standard. We saw this a lot back when they were actually XL. So still keeping on form with Boaster and Connor there. Ross as well, who was the coach at the time. He would pick up the secondary AWP, or in this case, the primary AWP on CT side Mirage. And that's what we're seeing Don today. Is he still going to have enough flair left in him? Is he going to have the Jazz hands? We'll never know. Apparently, yes. Comes in big with a first frag. Takes down Ardis. That's a nice early kill. As he waits for the push to come his way as well. So we hot already a man up. Massive advantage for them. Derziak. Waiting patiently for Adam in that underpass, but he could be waiting a while. Luminary do have some mid control. Just waiting patiently to see if they can find any of those these we hot members to peek out in any way or any information. Derziak does find one, but Adam eventually does take him out. Adam, 9130, going to be boosted up, put through the window, trying to make his play over. Connor with the AWP, looks for another fact. She finds the headshot as well, takes down Adam. It's ridiculous he's got on the second frag. Been able to get away with that one there. Should have been laid out. Somehow is able to just cheat death and find his way through. It's now Hype Mace and Mr. Hoy left. This is a play on the B site. Fleef, he is there to assist Ross. They should be prepared for this. This is the round where Fleef should start to come back out of his shell. That's right, Fleef really needs to make an impact here. He knows they're coming up being now. Nice to get Mace. One of the important players of this Luminary squad. But Fleef does manage to get away. Only on 17 HP. Connor sadly Ooh. just misses hype by the smallest margin. But the question is, if they do go for this retake, how will they do it? Connor, has he thrown the round from there? Went for the fast face. Was hoping he could get a pick, catch him off guard, but instead Fleev comes back through, takes down Hoyja, tries to get the tag up. That is hype very low, just on free HP, as he is going to be backtracking. Fleev looks for the frag, finds it. That's a free K for him and a defuse. The 13th round now picked up as well. Luminary, they got the bomb plant, so at least it's a bit of an injection into their cash, but this is wee hot now, just on a pedestal, looking to try and shut this game down. Looks like they found the answers they were looking for so far. Fleave. Some saving rounds there, and as you can see now, we hop on that extremely crucial round there. Now, as you can see, Luminary not looking their best at the moment, but obviously we've still got that next buy round to come. It seems like now Luminary will try and Go for this B execute, but I think we hot are smelling it. Yeah, gonna try and go for the play in. Ross ignites the balcony there, forces them to dive straight out the window. They are gonna be going straight into the crosshairs of Fleeve. Very easy to frags found by him. Ross as well with a cleanup crew now, gonna try and shut them down. Last minute assist from Connor to punish Mace as he'll land one shot, knock his noggin off, and that is now 14 to 11. If they win this round, they've basically taken the game. You imagine they are gonna be able to close it down at that point. Luminary though. They're three rounds away from equalizing the scoreline. If they're going to find some kind of answer and some kind of momentum, it has to be now. That's right, Lumine are probably heavily demoralized considering their circumstances at the moment. We hot just two rounds away from taking the win here, but Connor is trying to be a little bit more unpredictable. Sadly for him, Hype does take him down, gets two of his own. Derziak. 
does take Adam with him. But now this is definitely a round which Luminary definitely needs. And now we hot our man down, so it's going to be quite a struggle for them to try and close this one out. Ross trying to rotate back round, holding towards mid right now. They're not sure of where Luminary are going to be committing towards. Still up for debate, a dubious Luminary though. Going to try and go for this play on the A site. A minute left on the clock here. Bomb going to be transferred back as well. Tons of utility. Their pockets are absolutely lined with it. You might as well get some use out of it. Go for the smokes over. Block off the line of sight. But instead, they push in. They get first contact. They're trying to clear the site before they're using a the utility. But now the game's been given away anyway. Boaster. He found a free frag on Artis from the elevated angle. Trying to keep him on their toes from Ticket Box. Big tag comes out as well. Harry Mace only on 12 HP. They're setting themselves up for success on the retake. That's right, both did a fantastic job. Again, that kill to give Ross enough time to make that rotation. Same with Derziak as well. Boaster gets free now at least. And you, as you can see, Mace in a whole lot of trouble now. 12 HP, which looked like potentially a convincing round. Completely turns things on its head. And Boaster's just done such an incredible job. But trying to get his attention now. Fate Mace into it, and just like that, boast to what a fantastic play by him there. Considering we thought Luminary were going to take that A site, and boast was on his own as well, delayed things enough to yeah. get the rest of the members of Wee Hot to make that rotation and get not just one, but all four of them down. I don't think they can sing his praises enough right now. 25 frags to his name, playing very effective CS. Uh, as far as I know as well, he is sort of the IGL of this roster. He is the one in charge, so... It's looking good for Boaster. A lot of frags found. Huge, smart play there as well. Stood his ground. Simple tags going out. Weaken them up. Bought time for the rotate. And we hot in the end win that round. And might win the game because of it now as well. If they get this next round, they are going to shut it down. Luminary, it's a weaker buyer than what you'd want, really. Very restricted for utility, apart from Ardis and Adam. But at least they've got a little bit of firepower sprinkled in there. Ardis. The only one on the CZ as well. I think I prefer to see him gifted a rifle, but at least he still does damage with the CZ anyway. There's the act playing from Sandwich. Going to get the headshot. Assists his teammate there in Boaster, but unfortunately it's a little bit too late. Boaster goes down. Dersiak suffers the same fate, and it's just Ross and Connor. Yeah, sadly for them, Boaster isn't here to help him this time in the, in the preview 4 Ross and Connor will be on their own, but Ross is trying to... Try, well. I'm going to take some players. Connor managed to get one anyway. Does manage to pull back from the flash, but I think he's hoping that Ross can... maybe cause some kind of distraction, but... As you can see, he's doing his absolute best. Manages to take him down the end. And that's a 2v2. Still doable. Two, two members in jungle at the moment. But finds out just a little bit too late. Ardis finally treads out, and Ross gets picked off in the end as well. But... Fair play. It was a good try trying to get that retake. Connor did manage to take two, but sadly for him, Ardis and Adam were waiting patiently for him. And also, yeah, I do like Bosa's picture as well. Yeah, the freak is low picture. <laughs> Just having a scream. Yeah, why not? That's what you need. What bit of a scream? Yeah. <laughs> Just, you know, levels everything out. Get out of your system. Yeah, have a little scream occasionally, and then the rest of the time, everything's fine. Dirty act, though. He'll be screaming after that one. <laughs> Mr. Hoyer straight out finds the initial frag. Smokes are going down. Connor also trying to take people down with him in a blaze of glory. Eliminates Mr. Hoy. Boaster pushes up close towards Triple. Tries to peek from the left hand side, but is slain. Hype and Mace go in as the entry squad there as they are blowing the bits on this site. Everything is covered in a thick smoke. Connor. He's lost his vision. He's lost his head. It's all up to Ross to try to clutch it. Two blind there had no idea what was going on. And Luminary now very close to actually trying to bring this back to neck and neck. This is going to be a 14th round for them. We Hot have no cash. Basically means they're going to either have to play for overtime here or We Hot to take it in a 16-14. That's right. Completely unexpected. We never thought Luminary would make that comeback considering they gave that 15th round to We Hot now. As you can tell, even after this round, we hot one of the best of buys, but hopefully good enough to take that that last round. But as you can see, <laughs> Ross with the taser. 
Might as well try and get that extra money. So far, Lumni, I do have mid control. Of course, we are stacking the B site. The question is, will they have enough information to know exactly what's happening? Will they fall to the hands of Weehot stack, or will Luminary take them out anyway? Seems like Mace is coming in. Wait that dirty act. Ross got the taser kill. <laughs> <laughs> he was able to tase them and shut them down, so it's fantastic. Somehow he does actually get success there. Just Boaster and Connor left on the CT side as well. The one AK, you got the P250 coming through. Molotov gets launched out towards the van. Boaster finds the headshot of a lifetime there on the war type. And it's just left in the 1v1, Harry, to try clutch it out. Adam, 81 HP, steps back, literally back pedals into the crosshair of Boaster, but still finds the frag. That was such a shame, considering it was Boaster as well. I thought he was going to end that 16-13. Great eco round, though, considering the position they're in. There's a great... Obviously, a good idea to stack one side, of course, when you're in those kind of circumstances, it has to be done. No doubt about it. Sadly for them, did not work, but just by the narrowest of margins. And this is going to be a crucial round. Will we see Luminary taking its OT, or will we see Wee Hot ending this map 16-14? Well, Ross, once again, playing to try and defend towards that B site. Finally a round where he isn't just going to be all out swarmed in the opening moment. So as of right now, Luminary try and set their gaze towards mid and set. Try and take a bit of map control there. Connor plays in the close angle, just peering above the smoke, seeing if he can find anyone. Adam is going to try and test his fate in a minute, though. That could be the awkward part of the time. And just as he backtracks, Hype and Adam go for the face. But they do knock, knock him down to 40 HP as well. So it's not fantastic. Yeah, this is looking like a very difficult spot. It seems like now Luminary will be pushing towards ramp. Just to see if they can make an attempt to execute it. But Connor. Already with that opening pick on Hype. Will change things massively, but will I see Adam in connector now? And you've got Connor. He's trying to decide exactly how things should go. We'll be going to CT with everyone else. Both will pull back from that molly. But Durs here now, look at this. Waiting patiently, letting them all go across and... And get behind him, but will he actually get one? Does manage to get Mace. But sadly for him, Derziak does get taken out. Fleev gets taken out as well. And look at this, 3v2 in favour of Luminary. They could take this to OT. Yeah, they could do at this point. It seems likely. Mr. Hoy as well finds the headshot up on towards Boaster. Ross goes in. It's all up to Ross Rooney. But there is not a chance for him tonight. He has been punished by the Scout Superstar. That does mean overtime. 15-15, the full 30 rounds. Now we get into the thick of it. Move on to the overtime to see which one of these two squads is going to be able to pick up a win here. And it was a slobber knocker, as you said. It's gone the whole hog. Yeah. <laughs> this it has, mate. It has a slobber knocker indeed. I, I would have expected more of a slobber knocker from one of the earlier matches, but obviously it shows how much this win means to him so far. 15 0 and Luminary were in a right pickle at the, at the time, and you saw that they were down 15 11. One of the worst buys you could have had, but that jump through window with the opening pick to take things from there really, really helped them. But of course, Boaster made a massive impact on some of those retakes, as you remember from that 4K earlier. So, right now, this OT, considering how Luminary are feeling now, we are going to feel the burn a little bit, considering their momentum and their morale and how things are going to go. But it's going to be definitely a tough one to call. Yeah, it's, it's really going to be quite awkward. I don't feel like it can really be chosen to either side right now. It's been uh, all over the place. Boaster's just been trying his best with that wee hot side to give him a little bit of extra oomph. Fleeves having a bit of a quiet one, so they're restricted there. It's definitely uh, the whole team trying to step up now. Ross as well. Could be tested once again in the early game, Harry. He's done a ton of damage there with those nades, though. 50 damage found from an early tag from the Molotov and then a big tag from the HE. So that's not too bad. It's 
not too bad at all. And as you can see, Lumini have done a lot of aggressive plays on that B side, but instead, changing things up a little bit. But Mace, he's looking up on that window, but Connor's giving him no info. May try and push this. I see him in Mace. Just manages to take him out there. So already, one of the top dogs on Luminary. Once he get taken down. Luminary with that mid-control. See if we can find anyone's Ardis is waiting for what's around the corner. But sadly for him, Boaster does manage to peek out. And so far, it's looking quite close. Yeah, it definitely seemed like a close affair already. Obviously, Ardis and Connor, they both get traded out. Both very formidable players. So could be awkward for either side here taking those losses early on. But Adam he starts to bring it back a little bit. Takes down Boaster, which is going to be a big morale boost now. You've got a huge amount of control towards this A site as well. But the way the statistics go, you've got 25 seconds left on the clock. The bomb is only just rotating up towards ramp as well. So they have time for it, but they haven't cleared sight. And that is the worrying issue because Dirty actually finds these kills when that could have been a different story. But instead, Hype just destroys him on the face. Finds the kill with the AK. An artist with the AK, in fact. Mace as well tries to come back through. Will get the execution on Flea even. Ross through the smoke. No idea that they had swarmed the site like that. Wasn't ready for it, and Mr. Hoy takes him down. That's now finally the advantage found for Luminary. But it's taken them to get to overtime to do it. Looks like now five round off the bounce so far. Of course, they won't yeah. be getting that loss bonus. Sadly for them, but Luminary... Really showing that their T side later on has shown a lot of consistency with that fatigue possibly setting in for Wee Hot a little bit considering how long it's been. And now you only have one member of Luminary in mid. That's going to be Ardis. He's trying to see what he can find. But it seems like they're going back to the old the old strategies, going straight through B, but does get taken out by Fleev straight away. Ardis does get the trade. Ross is waiting patient to see if anyone does come out, which he does. Let's take out one. Takes out two before he gets killed. But just like that, we Hot finally gets a round on the board after a five-win streak by Luminary. Yeah, big rounds. They reset. Both teams now, 16-16. And uh, keeping it neck and neck, even in the overtime here. Trying to keep it as close as possible for Luminary, though. Just one up. Get that on Ardis, the rest of them, bringing the AKs out to play. We Hot still have the double AWP set up. Dirty Ak and Connor, probably the best two players you'd want with the AWP coming out into this one. So Connor's actually blocked the smoke there towards mid as well. So Luminary think the mid is smoke right now. He body blocked it by jumping into it, so he can try and go for the peak. They'll be aware that it hasn't smoked now. They've actually crossed out, but if he would have got the first frag, that would have been a nice little play from him. That's why I like to call it an accidental good <laughs> play by him, and at least... Managed to stop it enough, but of course they've got enough information to figure it out for themselves. Adam doesn't know Boaster's there, but Boaster will definitely know he's there. And as you can see now, they've done the fake B going back to A. Still two members there, though. I think we have Derziak and Boaster, two players you really don't want to run onto the site with. That's the flashing out anyway. Derziak doesn't get one. He gets mollied off. Heavily damaged at this stage, so he's really got to be careful. But Boaster now is playing extremely patiently, watching the stairs, making sure they don't get onto the site. Get onto the site quite freely, but Boaster is just going to hide on the smoke to see if he can get anything. But does it? Does get one? Gets two now. And Boaster has to clean up there. Does it? Wasn't looking too good when we hot entered the site, but it seemed like them. Sorry, and Lumni entered the site, but afterwards, does it? Definitely uh, made up for it with those two kills. Yeah, able to stay alive for way too long there. They didn't capitalize on him, didn't shut him down. I think they assumed that Molotov was a bit deeper towards CT and they pushed him out. But he just sat there, took the brunt of the fight, was able to go for the re-peak and just killed everyone as well. You know, you sort of expected to see him trying to go for the trade, baiting for Boaster a little bit, but he just went for it full on, found both of the frags anyway. And at the end of the day, it worked out. Now we move on back into the action though. This is where we're going to see which team in reality should be walking away from this one. You'd feel like they should close it out here. We hop, they're back on the T side. We're looking effective. They've got 17 rounds. Can they try and shut this one down or is Luminary going to pick it back up and take us through to a double overtime? 
Yeah, I think Dozy had literally just had enough and just thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> we get those moments a lot, but lucky for him, those two crucial kills could have actually saved the game for him. But as you can see, we hot already on the site. Molly's Jungle's Fleeve gets a crucial pick on Hype there. And already... Lumine not in a fantastic spot, but as saying that, Adam and Ardis. Okay, could have done wrong, but Ross tempted to pick CT. Managed to get one. Managed to get two anyway. And now Connor is in a fantastic spot. Just to make sure we don't get getting that defuse. Mace goes down. Connor punishes them both. That's it. They are going to be able to wrap it up as they're just going huge now. Connor stepping it up a lot more. 30 frags now found to his name and 18 rounds. Very, very close from just being done with this. Wiping their hands, walking away as the victor out of them and Luminary. Luminary, though, they're going to realize they now have a hard task on their shoulders. They really need to bring it back. Ardis, 29 frags to his name. He's been fighting tooth and nail as he got a little bit left in the engine that he wants to use. That's right, Mace also 30 bombing at the moment. It's not going to mean anything if it doesn't get these next two rounds. It's going to be extremely difficult. We hot, of course. Up by two rounds, and they can take these kind of risks, making this speed play. But even had it drop down, he does get taken out. But Doziak does want to get Mace, but oh, just like that, we hot now. Only two members remaining, but they can still get this bomb down. Considering the circumstances, no one's short at the moment. But Hype will be changing that. And Connor will make it short, but instead Hype does manage to take him out, so it's close to all on his own. Managed to get one. Sadly doesn't get the second. And it looks like Luminary aren't down and out yet. Yeah, 17 to 18. If it goes 18-18, that is going to push us into a double overtime. If we hot pick it up and get themselves a 19th round, they will be able to shut down the game. You were right, though. Literally back and forth so far. And you were talking about Ardis hitting 29 kills. Finally hits that 30 bomb. But they're definitely not out yet. We hot decided to take that risk again, of course. Being two rounds up, why not? You might as well take that risk to try and at least close things out. I think they assumed they would make a slow, methodical play to at least try and throw him off guard, but it just wasn't for them. And it seems like now, we hope will be planning on making this A execute. As long as I get this timing right, Derziak is waiting patiently. Hype. In the smoke of Palace to see exactly how things going to pan out, but we hope will go Straight out the side, but instead do wait on a ramp. Hype gets a crucial, crucial pick of his own, and it seems like now, finally, we hot do make it onto the site. But as you can see, Bosa gets a hype. Connor and Mouse get Adam in the end. And look at this now, they made this rotate. But Fleev sadly just misses him on connector, and it looks like it's going to be a close one here, Jackie. Oh, Fleev with the response takes down Mr. Hoy. Ardis and Mace, the only two boys in blue remaining on the side of Luminary. They really need to just go huge in this round now if they want to close it out. They are both the main impact fraggers, but they have been not well, actually ruse. They're fully committed to this. They're going for the mass rotate back around towards the B site. Fleev has drawn the entire team there. They're still committing to it. Now we hot decide to go back towards A, go through mid, down through connector and go for it. Tour the Mirage right now. Let's see what they can do though. Go for the peak round. Ardis. Looks like he was stuck in position there. Didn't get the frag. Mace goes down as well. Boaster was able to assist him. And in the end, they actually did decide to go to the B site. So it all has gone full circle. But in the end, they close it down. We hot. They find success. They get the win. And they beat out Luminary in overtime. And you saw there with Fleev. He's trying to